killed or captured. Planners and directors of the increasingly violent air war now developing in the West, the chiefs of the Allied Expeditionary Air Forces are seen at their headquarters. Air Marshal Sir Roderick Hill, seated on the left, commands Britain's air defence. Air Chief Marshal Sir Trafford Lee Mallory, standing on the right, is the CNC. His deputy is Major General Butler. Air Vice Marshal Wigglesworth and Brigadier General Strickland. Air Marshal Sir Arthur Cunningham commands the 2nd Tactical Air Force, General Bratton, the 9th United States Air Force. Over to Schweinfurt, where Bomber Command recently made a very heavy follow-up night attack a few hours after the US 8th Army Air Force had paid a most unwelcome visit by daylight. When the RAF arrived in great strength, fires started by the Americans were still burning, and in this RAF film, you can watch the amazingly rapid progress of the new attack. As HE and incendiaries cascade onto the ball-bearing factories of Schweinfurt, the whole target area becomes a sea of fire in an incredibly short space of time. Target indicators having been placed by the pathfinders, the hundreds of Lancasters and Halifaxes subjected Schweinfurt to a lacerating hail of bombs on a devastating scale. Those flickering lines on the film are the result of an electric discharge due to the cold at the height the aircraft were flying. The lines can be ignored, but the concentrated damage inflicted on Schweinfurt is something Germany most certainly cannot ignore. In daylight, the RAF has been hammering at the Pas de Calais, among many other continental targets. This film shows Bostons and Mitchells escorted by Spitfires on a recent attack. Close to the French coast, a battered German airfield bears witness to the work of daylight operations such as this, and further inland you'll be seeing plenty more evidence. The Pas de Calais has been described as a mystery target, but the Prime Minister in his recent review hinted at some of the objectives. He then stated, there is no doubt that the Germans are preparing on the French shore new means of attack on this country, either by pilotless aircraft or possibly rockets or both on a considerable scale. We are striking at all evidences of these preparations. As to the thoroughness with which Pas de Calais attacks are being made, you can form a pretty good idea from this film. Over the already heavily bomb cratered areas, more bombs and still more destruction. The day and night Allied air onslaught in Europe is being sustained with ever increasing violence. It is the overture before the curtain goes up on the drama entitled The Second Front. Movie turn. Leslie Mitchell reporting.